Hi, Dr. Jenna here today to talk to you about vestibular neuritis or labyrinthitis. So what is vestibular neuritis or labyrinthitis? Before we can talk about that, we have to talk about the vestibular anatomy, and I've done this on other videos, but let's go through it again. So the vestibular system, there's two vestibular organs, okay, and there's one on each ear or inside your inner ear, not your outer ear, way deep inside back here in this bone, okay, one on each side. And if I show you a picture, here's the ear come inside past where you, the, the hearing apparatus is. You got the cochlea and then you have the vestibular organ, okay? This is where you balance from, this is where you hear from. And you have these nerves that run to the brain. And they're the vestibular cochlear nerves that come down and then one breaks off for the uh, cochlear nerve and then the other one breaks off for the vestibular nerve. So one nerve for hearing, one nerve for balance, okay? And these are used for the brain to send a signal to the vestibular cochlear systems of uh, where you are in space and what, you, what you're hearing and uh, vice versa, um, where you're balancing, and then also uh, signals back and forth from the brain to these systems, okay? In the vestibular system, this nerve is giving a constant impulse to the brain. So if you have, if you're looking straight ahead, you have an impulse going, saying we're looking straight ahead. On each side of the vestibular system, that's the signal going down the nerve to the brain. Okay, if I turn my head to one side, then the signal on this side goes up, this side kind of goes down, so your brain knows you're turning to one side. Okay, that's just in any normal individual one side will get higher when you're turning your head, the other side will get lower, okay? So if an, an, a virus or a bacteria gets this nerve down here, and it could be just on the vestibular nerve or just on the cochlear nerve, or it could be when they're connected going towards the brain, a virus can attack that. When it's neuritis, that's when just the vestibular portion of the nerve is being attacked. And when it's called labyrinthitis, that's when both branches, the vestibular portion and the cochlear portion, are being attacked. And when they're attacked, then you'll have less hearing for labyrinthitis and less balance. And then for neuritis, just less balance, okay? With, so once it, the vestibular nerve is attacked, what ends up happening is on that one side, say this side was affected, okay? You're gonna have less of a signal on that side. So before it was, I'm looking straight, so both sides are doing the same signal. Now all of a sudden this side was attacked, so it's going to be less. This side didn't raise, but now it looks like, if I bring it up a little higher so you can see it, it looks like this side is higher now. So now it's a faster beating here, slow beating down here. So your brain look, feels like it's constantly turning its head. So that's why you feel dizzy. What somebody will see right when it happens is your eyes will start moving called nystagmus. And it will beat to the side that it's, um, the signal is higher on, the side that wasn't affected. When you move your eyes, your eyes will beat. And um, they... The healthcare providers can do special tests to see if this is the problem going on. Treatment at the beginning is um, some kind of steroid to help uh, get rid of the virus, and then also vestibular therapy. Vestibular therapy has helped to retrain your brain, your eyes, and your inner ear to be able to work together again. Because if you have the signal one side that's higher and one side that's lower, your brain's constantly thinking, I'm turning my head, and doesn't know where to balance, so you feel kind of all over the place, okay? As soon as you turn your head, then you have no idea where you are. So vestibular therapy is not going to fix the problem, it's going to help uh, figure out what your new new what your new uh, signals are and teach you not to be dizzy when you turn your head. This is just a brief little explanation explanation of what vestibular neuritis and labyrinthitis is. I hope you uh, learned something today. And if you have any further questions, please email me. Uh, have a great day. Thanks. Bye bye.